Hi, Jimmy Johnson here for Patriot League Champions Trivia. We got some round two action starting here with Navy and Loyola. Let's meet our competitors. Uh, hello, my name's Cameron Davis. Uh, I attend United States Naval Academy, part of the men's basketball program. My major is ocean engineering. Hi, I'm Danielle Strano. I go to Loyola University, Maryland, and I'm on the women's track team, and I'm a finance and information systems double major. Now that we've met our contestants, let's get right into it. Right answers are worth one point. A steal is worth two, and uh, Cam won the uh, coin toss off screen, so he gets to go first. In the first round, we're going a little special here with some little hometown questions about some battles. So first, Cam, it's a history question for you. Who won the Battle of Wilson's Creek, the first major battle of the Trans-Mississippi Theater of the American Civil War? The United, uh, the answer is the United States, uh, of Conf the Confederate States of America won the battle, excuse me. That is correct, one point for Cam. Danielle, now we're gonna go some history in your area. The Battle of Monmouth during the Revolutionary War pitted the British Army versus the Continental Army, commanded by which famous general? Uh, pass. <laughs> Cam, would you like to try? I'm gonna pass on that as well. All right, we're looking for uh, George Washington <laughs> on that one. <laughs> all right, so, all right, we'll go uh, round two. We go to the Cam here, science and nature. What is a watertight structure that is generally made up of timber, steel, and reinforced cement concrete and constructed in connection with the excavation of the foundation of piers, bridges, and dock structures? Uh, I'm gonna go with the answer as a dam. I know that's not correct. Okay. Yeah, and we're looking, uh, we're looking for, Danielle, you wanna try? Is it like graphite or uh, something? We're, we're looking for a caisson, caisson, that's how they go under, uh, uh, okay. there you go. Uh, let's go to Danielle for science and nature. What is the process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, especially by a computer? Ooh, what is the scientific method? <laughs> what is it called? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Pass. <laughs> Cam, anything? I'm gonna pass on that one too. All right. We're looking for algorithm on that one. Oh. <laughs> so, all right, round three, here we go. We got a one nothing score for Cam here. Cam, this is a history question for you. Who developed the telegraph which revolutionized communication in the 1830s? I'm gonna go with Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, no, that's not correct. I'm gonna go steal as a t uh... Thomas Edison? <laughs> no, no, we're looking for Morse. Samuel Morse. Morse told code for the uh, telegraph oh. there. Danielle, history here. The principal members of the Axis powers of World War II were Germany and what two other nations? Was it Germany, Italy? Germany's one of them. We're looking for the two other nations. Okay, Italy, Italy and... Japan. <laughs> there you go, ding, you got it, there you go. I made the ding sound myself, we'll add that in later for sure. All right, uh, Cam, here we go, round four for you. Tie score one one, entertainment. This superhero family, which includes the lovable Jack-Jack, is referred to as what? Uh, the Incredibles. There you go, my kids love The Incredibles. Here we go, Danielle, sports and leisure for you. What sports broadcaster famously asks viewers, do you believe in miracles? Oh, I don't know his name, but wasn't it from the um, 1980 like Olympics with the hockey team? You know. got the right thing. We just need the name. Uh, Cam, you want to try? I'm gonna pass on that one. Right, we're looking Al Michaels. Al Michaels was oh my God. on that one. Round five, history question here. This style of house, originating from New England in the 17th century, features low and broad single-story frame building with a moderately steep-pitched gable roof and a large central chimney and very little ornamentation. What kind of house is that? Final answer? I'm gonna go with a cabin. No. Can I steal? Is it a cape? Yes, Cape Cod is correct. Two points for Danielle oh and the gosh. steal. <laughs> All right, we'll go right to round six here. Sports and leisure here for Cam. What common modeling compound used by kids was accidentally invented in 1955 by Joseph and Noah McVicker while trying to make wallpaper cleaner? I'm gonna pass on that one. Danielle, hey. I'm also gonna pass. All right, Play-Doh. We were looking for Play-Doh on that one. <laughs> All right, now we're going to end of round six here, Danielle. Entertainment question for you. This NFL sack machine went from being a giant on the field to a popular TV host on Good Morning America. Michael Strahan. That's correct. 
Round seven. What is the name of a traditional Japanese dish prepared in vinegar rice, usually with some sugar and salt, accompanying a variety of ingredients such as seafood, often raw, and vegetables? Sushi. That's correct, one point. And now we got a 4-3 score here as Danielle, you get the last question. Now Danielle has to get it right because Cam could come in and steal this for two and then win the match. So <laughs> no pressure, Danielle, no to pressure. Art no and literature pressure. for you. The writers of this famous HBO series had to go off on their own at the end because the novelist who inspired the TV series had yet to finish the final installment. Game of Thrones. That's correct. There for the uh, win. Uh, Cam, were you were you itching at that one? Did you know that one? I was. I was, oh. look, I was looking for that because that's what I, exactly what I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> very close matchup. That was a lot of fun. We got Loyola on top 5-3 at the end. Thank you so much for both of you guys taking the time out and competing. This was a lot of fun. Look forward to seeing what your teams can do as we move on with the Trivia League. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>